Hi, my name is Lee. I am an interior designer and 3D artist and welcome to my channel. In this series we will create an 18th century men shirt from scratch using Marvelous Designer and 3ds Max and we will add some fine details to the shirt using ZBrush. And now we will start by creating the shirt in Marvelous Designer. So let's get started. First of all, we will start by checking some reference images of the shirt we are going to create to highlight some of its main characteristics. First, it has a long fluffy sleeves and it always has an opening in the front part of the shirt and it always has some kind of strength for the shoulder part like the epaulet shown in this image and it always has a neck gusset as shown here. And finally, it has many variation of color style as shown in these images. Now we are in Marvelous Designer and I have imported my avatar and it is wearing uh, the herring pants which we have uh, created in the previous video. And by the way, if you didn't uh, watch it, I will leave the link of the video for you in the description below. Now let's get started by creating a large rectangular pattern so we can import our cutting pattern create a new fabric import our cutting pattern texture then select our pattern assign fabric to to it then go to edit texture start adjusting the scale and the position of the texture so we can see our cutting pattern and by the way, if you want uh, this cutting pattern, uh, just follow us uh, on uh, Instagram or Facebook and contact us and I will send it back to you. Now, as you can see, the shirt consists of the front part and the back part, the color of the shirt, the epaulets and the neck gusset, the sleeves, the sleeve scuffs and the sleeves gusset. So let's get started by creating the front part of the shirt. The front part of the shirt is 55 cm width by 90 cm height. So let's go to our avatar in the 2D window, create a rectangular pattern just by clicking the left click, a pop-up menu will appear and enter 55 by and press OK. Now we have created the pattern of the front part. It is by default assigned to Fabric 2, so go and assign Fabric 1 to it and select Fabric 1 so it will be our default fabric. Now I want to enable the dimensions on the segment of the pattern. I will hit Shift Z and the dimension will appear on our now back to our cutting pattern, the front part of the shirt consists of two shoulder segments, a neck opening, and this neck opening is 7 cm below the shoulder segment. The shoulder segment is 17.7 cm length, which is the same width of the epaulet, and the neck opening is 19.6 cm. So, back to our pattern, go to edit pattern, select the segment, right click and split. Choose split. Now I need to enter 17.7. .7. Now we have created the first shoulder segment. The same process on the other side, select the segment, right click, choose split and enter 17.7. .7. Now we have created the two shoulder segments and the neck opening which is 19.6 cm. We need this neck opening to be 7 cm below the shoulder segment. Therefore I will select the neck opening segment and right click choose split and this time I will uniformly split it to divide it into two equal parts to create a vertex 
in its center. We need this vert vertex to be 7 cm down in this direction. To do so, I will select this segment and right click split 7 cm to create a snapping vertex. Now when I move this vertex down, it will automatically be snapped to the snapping vertex. Now we don't need this vertex anymore. Select it and delete it. Now we have created the neck opening, which is 7 cm below the shoulder segment. Back to our cutting pattern. The front part of the shirt has an opening, which is 23 cm long. So we need to create a segment in the center of this pattern. So go to create internal lines and create a line between this vertex and this segment and hit enter. Then go to edit pattern, select this segment, right click and split. And we need to split it. We need a segment which is 23 centimeter long. Here we have the 23 centimeter long segment. Select it, right click and cut. Now we have created a cut in our front part of the shirt. Now I want to create a symmetrical pattern with sewing to ease, to ease our workflow. So I will select this segment, right click and choose cut. I will choose this part of the segment, delete it. Then I will select this part and hit Ctrl D to create a symmetrical pattern with sewing. Now I have created the front part of the pattern, the front part of the shirt. Back to our cutting pattern, the neck opening is curvature. So back to our pattern, I will go to edit curvature and select this segment and start curving it. Just a smooth curve like this. Now I have finished our front part of the shirt. Let's start in the back part of the shirt. The back part of the shirt is 55 centimeter width and 90 centimeter height. So start creating a rectangular polygon. Left click 55 by 90 centimeter and press OK. Now we have created the back part of the shirt. Back to our cutting pattern, our back part of the shirt has two shoulder segment and has a neck opening which is 19.6 cm width. So back to our pattern, go to edit pattern, select the segment, right click and split 17.7 and press OK. Now we have created our shoulder segment, the same process here, select segment, split 17.7 and hit OK. Now we have created the two shoulder segments and the neck opening which is 19.6 width. We need to also split uniformly split the neck opening to create a vertex in its center and slightly move it down in this direction. I also need to create a symmetrical pattern with sewing so I will connect this vertex with this segment by creating an internal line like this. Go to edit pattern, select the segment and cut. Then select this part, delete it, select this part, control D. Now we have created a symmetrical pattern with sewing. Now the back part of the shirt is done. So we have created the front part and the back, the front part and the back part of the shirt. Now I will create the color of the shirt. The color of the shirt is 45 centimeter width by 7 centimeter height. So I will go to create my color pattern, which is 45 
centimeter width by 7 centimeter height and press OK. And here it is. Now, in our 3D view, I will start placing the pattern in place on our avatar. So I will enable or I will show the arrangement point. I will select the color and place it in position on our avatar like this. Then I will close the arrangement point. Then I will select the back parts of the shirt, rotate them 180 degree and for snap rotation I will press I will press shift while rotating then put them in place behind in the back of the avatar or behind the avatar like this now we will start creating our epaulets so back to our cutting pattern I can move it a little bit like this okay back to our cutting pattern I want to create the epaulet the epaulet is 17.7 centimeter width and 8 centimeter height so let's create a pattern a rectangular pattern which is 17 17.7 centimeter in width and 8 centimeter in height now the epaulet has a curve in this side so let's do this back to our pattern i want to divide our epaulet pattern into two equal parts upper and lower part so I will select go to edit pattern select these two segments right click and choose offset as internal line along curve then it will create a segment in the center between in the middle between or center between the two segments but i will choose perpendicular direction and hit okay now i have created a segment in the center of our epaulet pattern which will divide it into two equal part the upper part and the lower part but i still need to split these two segments in their middle so i will right click on this segment and choose sorry i will choose the segment first and i will right click and extend to pattern outline and add points now these two segment is split in their center by vertices now I need to curve this vertex and curve this vertex so I will go to smooth curve select this vertex and start curving it like this now we have created our epaulet back to our cutting pattern the epaulet as you can see here in this illustrator the epaulet is connected to the front and the back of the shirt and it's also connected or sewn to the neck gusset. Therefore, we need an opening here in the epaulet pattern so we can sew the neck gusset to it. The neck gusset is a right angle triangle with dimension 10 cm by 10 cm. Therefore, we need an opening here in the epaulet pattern which is 10 cm long. So back to our epaulet pattern, go to edit pattern, select the segment, right click and split and enter 10 cm and press OK. Now we have created a 10 cm segment. Select the segment, right click and choose cut. Now we have a cut in our epaulet, epaulet pattern. This cut where the neck gusset will be sewn to. Now we will create our neck gusset. Our neck gusset is a right angle triangle with two with dimension 10 cm by 10 cm. So let's create this. Go to create rectangular pattern, right click, 
and we create a square pattern which is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter now we will go to create internal line and we will connect these two vertices to create a diagonal between them then go to edit pattern select the segment right click and cut now we'll delete this part and here we have our neck gusset select the neck gusset and control d to create a symmetrical pattern with sewing and select the epaulette pattern control d to create a symmetrical pattern with sewing now we have created the front and the back of the shirt the collar the neck gusset and the epaulets let's place them in their places in the 3d view let's select the the neck gusset start moving them and putting them at their place rotate them 90 degrees and and place them in their right places and here we are now for the epaulet i will freeze them for now freeze them and i will move them away from our pattern now we need to connect this all these parts together we need to connect the front and the back the front parts with the back parts and we need to connect all of them with the color if you go back to our cutting pattern we will see that our color is divided from the center and we have 9.7 centimeter left and 9.7 centimeter in the right this 9.7 9.7 centimeter in the left and the right will be connected to this curve in the back or the neck opening in the back part of the shirt while this 1.5 centimeter parts will be connected to the diagonal of the neck gusset and the remaining parts will be connected to the curve or the neck opening of the front part of the shirt so let's go to the color pattern and select edit pattern and select the segment and right click split uniformly split it into two equal parts then start splitting the segment by 9.7 centimeter in the left and split 9.7 centimeter in the right and we will also create the 1.5 cm segment 1.5 cm in this side and split 1.5 cm in the opposite side now we will start sewing our patterns first of all the only suitable type of sewing uh, for this situation this situation is the free sewing and we will select it from the 3d view because if i select it from the from the 2d view when i move my cursor on any segment i won't see oh, because i selected in the 3d view let's select make a select mode in the 3d view and if I move my cursor here in the 2D view, nothing will appear on the 3D view. But if I select free sewing from the 3D window, any if I move my cursor on any segment in, in the 2D or the 3D view, it will appear in the other view. And this will help me to know the direction of my sewing. So let's start by connecting the color with the back part of the shirt i want to connect this segment or this curve which we didn't do so go to edit edit curvature and make a 
Smooth Curve here. And return to free sewing. We want to sew this part with this part of the color. Here, look at the 2D view. I want to sew this part with this part of the color. So from in to out will be sewn from in to out. Same thing, same process from in to out, from in. Don't it want it? I want it until the 9.7 okay perfect now we have connected the back of the shirt with the color now we will we need to connect the diagonal of the neck gusset with the color so this diagonal of the neck gusset here will be connected to the color part here so from n to out will be connected from in to out and the same thing here from in to out in to out i think symmetrical pattern no it didn't work so from in to out from in to out now we have created we have sewn the neck gusset with the color now we need to connect the front part of the shirt with the color. We need to connect this part with this part of the color. So from in to out, from in to out, and from in to out, from in to out. And you can check your sewing here in the 3D window and everything is perfect. Now, the neck gusset, these two edges of the neck gusset will be connected to the front and the back part of the shirt. This segment will be connected to the front part of the shirt here. So, from here to here will be connected from here to here. Perfect. Then, the back side we need to connect from here to here from here to here so from here to here will be sewn from here to here and it's done we have connected the neck gusset with the front and the back parts of the shirt now we need to connect the front and the back part of the shirt together so this part of the segment will be connected to this part of this segment so from here to here will be connected from here to here and the symmetrical pattern with sewing did the same process in the opposite side and here our sewing is completed now we can hit, hit the simulation button but before we hit the simulation button i will select go to selection mode I will select my color and I will select my color and I will strengthen it and solidify it. So it will be rigid and solid since it will carry the weight of all the other, other pattern connected to it. So at the beginning I will solidify it and I also need to connect it together like this so it won't fall from our avatar now we can hit the simulation button hit the space bar and here we are perfect all our part is connected and sewn together stop the simulation select our cutting pattern pattern and reset to the arrangement and freeze it so it won't simulate again now we have connected the front and the back and the collar and the neck gusset now we need to 
so the epaulets with our front and back parts and the neck gusset now the epaulet this part of the epaulet or the lower part of the epaulet will be connected to the front part of the shirt and the upper half of the epaulet will be connected to the back part of the shirt but we need internal lines in the back and the front part of the shirt so the epaulet will be sewn too therefore i know that the epaulet four centimeter from the pattern of the epaulet will be this four centimeter here will be connected or sewn to a four centimeter here on this segment so i will go to edit pattern select the segment right click and split four centimeter now i have created a segment which is four centimeter long now from this vertex i will start creating internal line like this hit enter then go to to smooth curve select this vertex and curve it as you can see we have created an internal line for the epaulet pattern to be sewn to the same thing happened to this side due to symmetrical pattern we need to repeat the same process here in the back part of the shirt select this segment right click split four centimeter this four centimeter segment will be connected to this four centimeter segment of the epaulet pattern then start creating internal lines like this then press enter select smooth curve and the smooth and make a curve here now we have created the internal line required for the epaulet to be sewn Now select free sewing from 3D window and start sewing the epaulet with the front and the back part of the shirt. So this part will be connected to this part. This four centimeter segment will be connected to this four centimeter. And the same process for the back part from here to here will be connected from here to here. And this four centimeter will be connected to this four centimeter. Now in the 3D view, I will select my epaulet pattern, right click, and I will remove, unfreeze them. Then right click again and superimpose over. Now our epaulet pattern are in place and ready for the simulation. Let's hit the simulation button and as you can see perfect everything is perfect our epaulet pattern is in place and everything is good now i want to remove this crest over here and i will stop the simulation i will remove this crest by just selecting this segment and delete it now it will be more smoother and the crease is gone. Now, after connecting the epaulet with the front and the back parts, we need to connect or sew the epaulet with the neck gusset. Therefore, I will stop the simulation and start free sewing the epaulet with the neck gusset. Now, we need to sew this part of the neck or this segment of the neck gusset with this segment in the epaulet pattern so from in to out will be connected from in to out but for the lower part it is the lower part yes then from in to out will be connected i'll do it again from in to out will be connected from in to out but for the upper part 
of the uh, of the neck i will undo it and do it again okay i want to connect from in to out from in to out for the lower part and from in to out from in to out but for the upper part now we can hit the simulation button let's hit it and everything is perfect now we have to connect the front part of the shirt together because they are not sewn together so stop the simulation segment sewing and start sewing the front part together and the back part together and simulate again perfect now we have created let's disable the dimension and go to select pattern and now we have created the front part of the shirt the back part of the shirt the epaulets the neck gusset the the color of the shirt and we have connected them all together and sewn them together and simulate them on our avatar and everything is perfect until this point and this is the end of uh, part one uh, of the series and uh, i hope you enjoyed uh, our video and uh, if you like our video please uh, like it and subscribe to our channel see you later bye